All right, we want to welcome everybody to DaVinci Payments Brand Accelerator webinar. Today we're going to demonstrate our new brand accelerator. We're very excited about this. And um, right now I'd like to uh, walk you through the agenda for today, and then we'll get started. Um, first, from a house cleaning perspective, there's an orange button in your menu for the webinar. And if you click on that, there's an opportunity if you have questions, you can ask them along the way. We will answer all questions at the end. There's also a handout, and it is a uh, document that um, summarizes a lot of the information that you'll have here in this webinar. We also want to let you know that this is being uh, recorded video-wise, so we'll send you a link after uh, in a few days uh, along with the presentation. So you'll have all those materials, and you're welcome to share those as well. Um, I'm Rodney Mason. I'm CRO of DaVinci Payments, and joining me today is Tracy Monson. She's our Chief Marketing Officer and our um, Lead on Product Development. Our agenda for today is um, as follows. So I will take you through some insights. These are from different national studies that we've conducted. There's just a few um, insights that we'll share, but they all relate back to the product and they show how this product is going to help you be differentiated in the market. Uh, after the uh, insights, we'll give you an overview of the product. We'll take you through a complete demo, including some verticals and use cases. And we're going to show you how setup and admin works. Um, we'll also show you how reporting works and how you get started. And then um, we're going to um, answer your questions. And we're also going to do a really brief question at the end just to see um, how everybody feels uh, about the brand accelerator and some of the things that we've shared today. Um, that information will all be private, it won't be shared, it won't be used for marketing, but we'll do it as a poll so we'll get to see the results. Um, I'll also at the end give you a link to visit um, and would like to plug it now. In, in three weeks we have a webinar coming up, it's a national loyalty study. We ran it at the very end of February, uh, first part of March, so it definitely has some COVID-19 insights to it. Um, it's uh, a national study reflective of the U.S. population and it actually identifies trends in loyalty, how important loyalty is, and it also identifies the top 160 brands in the United States based on loyalty. Um, we didn't make any suggestions to people as to what those brands would be. We simply asked them which brands excelled in loyalty and they shared them with us. So we'll have those rankings as well. So we invite you to that webinar um, going forward. Now let's go ahead and begin our presentation here uh, as it relates to the brand accelerator. Next slide, please. Um, we're going to share some insights with you today, and uh, what I would say uh, just really quickly, I'm going to jump into those, is that um, these are from national studies we conducted. All the studies I share today are from 2019, Q3, Q4, um, and I'll walk you through those now. Next slide, please. Um, as far as our studies, just uh, from a confidence interval, um, every study that I cite in here is over a thousand. Um, a thousand respondents it's reflective of the u.s population and it has a 97 percent confidence we did those online through SurveyMonkey. next slide please okay so really quickly um we did a national women's shopper study um in q4 and we talked to them about the holiday shopping season and we also talked to them about you know what drives up brand preference um in that study um, we found that 84% of women shoppers are more loyal to brands that surprise them with savings offers. Now that's relevant today because what we're going to share with you on the brand accelerator is how you can deliver payments of all kinds. They could be rewards, they could be uh, savings um, type rewards like rebates or loyalty, they could also be incentives, or they could even be refunds. Um, but as you're delivering them, um, you're able to attach marketing to them in ways that hasn't been done before in marketing engagement. So, um, you know, just looking at women in the market, adult women in the U.S., 84% of those shoppers are more loyal to brands that surprise them with savings offers. They also prefer prepaid 2x over check and PayPal for their reward and payment um, and refunds. Um, we are DaVinci Payments. We, uh, we handle disbursements and payments of all kinds. Certainly prepaid is a big part of what we do, uh, both virtual and physical. Um, but uh, it's interesting that as a reward, um, prepaid is preferred 2x over check or PayPal. 
Additionally, 88% would use special offers that accompanied a prepaid award if they, if they were items that they found of good value. What's really nice about that insight and what it tells you is not only sending them an offer will make them more loyal, especially if it's a relevant offer, but also when you send a reward of some type or even a refund, you have a very high chance if it's embedded with offers to get them to spend those dollars back almost immediately. Next slide, please. So as it relates to purchase decisions, now this is from our women's study. We've done generational studies and Gen Z, millennials. We've also done men's studies and different, uh, and different other shopper studies and pretty consistent across the board in Q4 of last year. Price was the number one factor in making a purchase decision. Quality was number two, and then availability and selection drops way off. And what that tells you is that consumers are uber price sensitive. They learned way back in the Great Recession um, how to be, of 2008, how to be price sensitive, and those traits carried on with them. They've gotten much more savvy as it relates to price, and particularly now in the current climate that we're in, um, we, we ran a recent um, study with marketers on how they intend to invest and spend, and price is going to be elevated. Um, so, but what's great about that is that um, with rebates and loyalty programs and other types of things, you can supplement and put better prices in market, and then you can drive back um, with the rewards that you send out, you can drive back more purchases. Next slide, please. Um, so this is another interesting dimension from the Women's Shopper Study. How do they most often discover brands or find out about brands? 76% find out about brands from friends and family. If you go back in history, oh, I don't know, about six years ago, way over on the right, you see TV at 40%, that used to be number one. Friends and family is number one, and then retail stores, Amazon, Google, and social media. Now that's for all women. If you look at Gen Z and millennials, which we have a slide on, I'm not gonna pop it up, but uh, friends and family is even a higher number. Number two is social media, and then it's Amazon, Google, retail stores, TV. So um, what that's telling you is, uh, especially in the current climate, um, you're gonna have to obviously spend your marketing dollars more wisely. One of the areas that everybody should be looking at uh, is uh, through referral offers. And one of the great things about Brand Accelerator as you're sending out those rewards, um, there's definitely opportunity um, for referral offers. All right, if we can go to the next page. So as it relates to loyalty programs, we've got this study coming out. This was the one that we'll be sharing here in a few weeks. This is a little sneak peek to it, just a little tiny sneak peek. One of the things that we found is we found that loyalty participation is at an all-time high. 97% of women and 97% of adult men in the United States participate in the loyalty program. There's a lot of reasons for that. Um, and I don't want to give all this away because we're going to be sharing more from our loyalty program later. But, you know, one of the big impacts on loyalty and the reason that so many people are participating now is because Amazon has changed the game. And 75% uh, of all adults in our study, our most recent numbers, are now participating as Amazon Prime customers. And I would guess over the last three to four weeks, that number has actually gone up higher. Um, so across the board, loyalty programs are increasing um, in participation. Um, one of the important factors of that is that your very best customers and your newest customers that are trying to meet thresholds in your loyalty programs, uh, they don't necessarily need the product in kind. Um, for your best customers, they have, a lot of them have all the product in kind that they want, and your lower customers need a boost to get them across. So there are certain types of rewards outside of that free product or discounted product that you give them um, that's also applicable. And that's where Brand Accelerator can help you. Can you go to the next slide? So right here, you know, when you look at the rewards that drive loyalty ranked by preference, Free product is always number one. If I go to Pizza Hut and I'm buying pizza, I want to get some more pizza. If you know I'm going to Nordstrom and I'm buying shoes, I would love some more shoes or Kohl's, you know, save more money at Kohl's. But as I mentioned, you have those top earners that have all the product in kind, the Marriott elites that have all the points in the world, and then you have 
your entry level folks that aren't traveling as much and aren't earning enough rewards and they need ways to engage with you to stay loyal and so that's where other things that you can offer them comes into play and at the very top of that list right underneath free product is prepaid cards that can be spent anywhere underneath that is you know discounts paid from a program choose from a variety of options in store online catalog or earn rewards for a cause now if you think about it um, as i've described the brand accelerator and tracy will illustrate for you not only can you deliver a pre, pre, pre card, prepaid card as an alternative reward, but you can also couple with that other things um, as you're delivering that. Next slide, please. Um, we did a national auto study, and that at the top of that stack there, you see intenders. Those are people who are intending to buy a car in the next 18 months. Um, so we talked to them, we talked to women, men, different generations, different incomes, and we said, hey, what if we gave you a virtual reward, a virtual prepaid reward that we just texted to you, and as soon as you took a test drive, you could activate it, and uh, would you do that? The vast majority said they would. Now, if you think about the automotive industry, um, and you can think of other industries as well that need to drive foot traffic. This is a tool that is in part of Brand Accelerator. Um, it also shows the importance and um, the, the likeliness and the willingness of people to use virtual products. Next slide. We also said to them, hey, if you received a special service offer from a prepaid reward, let's say you came in and did a test drive, or maybe you bought a car and you got a prepaid reward, and then attached to that is a special offer to come into the service area. And it's a value that you would consider a good value, would you use it? The vast majority said absolutely they would. So what you're seeing here is the realization that marketing budgets are going to be, um, are gonna have to work harder. And at every single touch point, there's an opportunity to touch consumers in another way. And particularly with payments, they are very receptive they're emotionally invested in it, and they actually want to receive these kinds of offers as they're receiving rewards and payments. Next slide. So um, we also conducted a study of apartment renters. And in this case, um, there are some large platforms that provide, uh, SaaS platforms that provide all kinds of services to apartment management companies and um, there's a lot of ways that they motivate the audiences and, and this is a space that um, we're into. Um, so we did some research in this area and we talked to people and we said, okay, you're moving out of your apartment and um, we're gonna send you a deposit and your deposit's gonna be a prepaid deposit. So you normally pay a deposit when you move an apartment. We're gonna give you a prepaid card. Is that okay? Yes. What if we offered you a $100 bonus on top of that prepaid card once you receive that to refer a friend? Would you? 65% said they would. Now, certainly, you know, there were comments like, I have to like the apartment complex, but a lot of people that move out of apartments are not moving, uh, they're moving to a house or there's another reason that they're moving. So there's huge opportunity for referrals after they've already not become your, your tenant anymore, but you're sending them their refund offer. Next slide. Um, we also found out, you know, from them as they're moving in, giving them small rewards uh, and and regularly um, uh, giving them values and offers that they didn't expect will make them more loyal and will make them stay a stay around longer as tenants. Next slide, please. Eighty-two percent said they would spend earned rewards on special offers delivered with the rewards. So you just gave someone $500 deposit to move out of, um, when they moved out, you're giving them their money back. Um, there's an opportunity for them to spend that back with you or with partners. So if you're a large property management company um, and you own properties everywhere, you could be working with national advertisers to actually set up a program that becomes a revenue stream for you um, by simply paying out your deposits. Next slide. Um, last slide from the research. So I'll sum this up and then turn it over to Tracy. So we've done a lot of uh, work studies on what drives loyalty. 
And as we share the brand accelerator, we want you to think about it not just as a marketing tool, but something that can be used for education, training, engagement um, for a variety of industries. For instance, the insurance industry where people need information, they need to be paid quickly and they need certain information delivered to them um, about their situation that might be in a disaster situation. Another um, opportunity outside of, you know, awards and incentives or disbursements um, in the typical tradition is in the, the workplace. There are a lot of incentives that will drive significant change in the workplace. Um, here in this Gen Z work study, we found that 79% um, said that an increase in recognition rewards would make them more loyal to their employer. Okay, well, what does loyalty mean? Well, 70% said they would stay on the job another year if they received three $50 prepaid rewards over a one-year period. You think about $150 if you've got a really good employee, you don't even have to pay them all at once. You spread that out over the year um, in little $50 increments because they like frequency of rewards. Um, they are, set, that convinced over 70% of them to stay another year. And this particular um, age group, their propensity to stay in a job typically um, is uh, is really low for more than a year. Um, we also said, hey, uh, would you use three or fewer sick days for a $75 prepaid reward? So you don't get it unless you achieve the goal. And 70% said they would. 87% said they would refer a job candidate for a $100 prepaid reward. Um, and 90% would participate in a wellness program for a $25 reward. Now, as you're delivering those kinds of rewards, and there's other kinds of recognition rewards, um, years of service, just, um, you know, there are recognition platforms out there um, that people can redeem points for. As you're delivering all those rewards, Brand Accelerator is an excellent opportunity to get employees engaged, to share more about the company and, you know, company-wide initiatives. All right, so those are some of the insights. If we can go to the next slide, please. Now I'm gonna turn it over to Tracy, our CMO and head of product, and she's gonna walk you through our brand accelerator demo. I will be back uh, toward the end and um, we'll both answer your questions and we'll also uh, do our uh, small poll. Fantastic, thank you, Rod. Um, so when we build products at DaVinci, we always build with two customers in mind. You all joining us today, and of course your customers, your employees, your distributors, whoever you need to pay. They're critical to your business, so they're critical to us. When we think about your customer and build products for them, we keep in mind the insights that Rod just took us through. So we know that customers want flexible spending options. They're loyal to brands who surprise them with perks. And they're willing to go the extra mile for businesses who offer incentives for things like referrals, surveys, and reviews. All of that was true when we conducted our studies at the end of 2019 and the beginning of 2020, but we all know it's even more true now when customers are more price conscious and when a little extra value can go a very long way for families. We surveyed marketers recently about their plans for spending during recession and the majority of respondents said they would spend the same or even increase their budgets. So when stalled consumer spending gets going again, hopefully very soon here, brands will need to find innovative ways to stretch their marketing dollars. Now at DaVinci, for those of you who know us, you know we believe a payment is more than just a transaction between you and your payee. We think of it instead as an extension of your brand. So when we fulfill on a payment on your behalf, it's a touch point. Sometimes it is your last touch point with a customer. And so by building Brand Accelerator, we've turned the payment into a tool that can stretch your marketing dollars, drive engagement, and increase ROI. Okay, so what exactly is Brand Accelerator? Basically, it's a content overlay that sits on our payment platform, which is fully branded on your behalf with a custom URL and a landing page. When your recipients are paid, they claim or they register their payment and they interact with your marketing content and messaging. Brand Accelerator, like Rod mentioned, is in beta right now with some of our clients, and we're seeing it used to promote referral programs, cross-sell services, increase downloads of loyalty apps, promote charitable partners, and drive whatever the next desired action is. 
of course, there are plenty of other ways to ask your customers to provide a referral or to give them a special offer when they spend. But few of those other channels are more powerful than taking advantage of the moment when this person has just been paid. So let's walk through the actual branded experience so that you can see it. First, a branded payment notification email gets sent out. They click the secure link, and that payment link is gonna auto log the recipient into a branded site that we host on your behalf with your custom URL. Now in this payment scenario, we've offered a choice. So here, the recipient can choose between a physical or a virtual prepaid card. Now other setups, depending on your program, might include an instant push payment right into their bank account, or maybe a reloadable card. Uh, but in our example here, we're gonna select a virtual card. Now, as a side note, I have to mention DaVinci's virtual payment options are in high demand these days, with most of our new business choosing to include a virtual based payment in their program. Especially in uncertain times, we're seeing that customers need fast, reliable funds that don't rely on physical mailing infrastructures. And of course, by adding our virtual cards to Apple Pay, Samsung Pay, or other proprietary wallets, customers are spending those flexibly online or in brick and mortar. Okay. So after I choose my payment option and I confirm my profile, I'm gonna use this payment site for a variety of self-service needs. So I'll come back, I'll check my balance, I'll pull my card details, I'll get my PIN, I'll apply reloads. And when I do that, I'm gonna interact with the brand content. So in this example, let's say we just paid out a rebate. We can invite the customer to register their product we might drive traffic to enroll in a loyalty program uh, or we might do some product education and cross-selling via downloads or video so that gives you a sense of how brand accelerator works in practice the next question is always how can brand accelerator be put to work in your industry or your client's industry. So let's flip back to that slide. All right. So here's a list of verticals, um, but I have to say this is by no means a comprehensive list. I just wanna take you through a few use cases. Uh, in appliances, brand accelerator should be turned on for rebate and appeasement payments. You should use it to capture registrations and deliver new offers. When you're paying an appliance sales rep, their sales incentive, you can use Brand Accelerator to deliver product education or promote upcoming spiffs. In automotive, use Brand Accelerator to promote test drives, enroll folks in MPG programs, or drive traffic to the service center for an oil change. Right, Pay out a rebate on a tire and drive traffic into other service partners. In energy and utilities, we're providing payments for things like energy efficient rebates, deposit refunds, and appliance recycling programs. So you can use Brand Accelerator to cross sell these programs and drive spend to online marketplaces and enroll customers in paperless billing. The gig industry, this industry relies on referrals and keeping gig workers active and engaged. So here we can use Brand Accelerator to capture referrals and deliver special offers that help contractors manage their home businesses. In health and wellness, you can educate employees on healthy activities that they can complete for future rewards, deliver some of those other employee benefits that keep employees engaged and loyal that Rod mentioned, or you can drive spend toward health-based partners. In housing, when you deliver a security deposit refund, ask for that referral. Promote leases at sister properties, drive spend to the salons, gyms, and coffee shops, renting commercial space, and collect commission off of that. The bottom line here is that Brand Accelerator can be used to drive behavior across nearly every industry. Next slide, please. Okay, so to make these use case examples a little more visual, and yes, that pun is intended because this is an example of a Brand Accelerator used for an eye care rebate, um, here you can see a survey request, 
complementary products, promotion of the brand's charity, and a few other marketing modules. Next slide. Here's a distributor incentive. So here we see the brand is offering installer support. They might be generating excitement about upcoming sales promotions, and they're providing training on uh, installer tools. And here's an example in insurance. We talked about this a little bit. So it might be a place where insurance providers can give useful info during a time of emergency. They can promote policy bundles. They can drive paperless billing, facilitate enrollment in safe driver programs, and of course, ask for the referral. So how does Brand Accelerator get set up and supported? At its core, Brand Accelerator is a content management system. So the modules you see get configured by an admin, ours or yours. You can upload brand assets to select from your content library, add your headline, your call to action, any links, et cetera, and then save the module for review and publication. And of course, reporting. So your reporting package allows you to see and measure how each piece of brand accelerator content is driving behavior. Getting started. So getting started, we tried to make this as easy as possible. So we can provide you strategy support or ideas on creative and effective uses of brand accelerator for your particular vertical. And we can also support you in configuring this thing. So if you'd like DaVinci to build brand accelerator with your assets, our quick start guide provides specifications that make setup very straightforward. You can set up Brand Accelerator with the initial launch of a payment program, or you can layer it in after launch as a program enhancement. Okay, so now we would love to hear from you. Uh, we'll launch a poll here, and we want to know what you think. So how might you envision using Brand Accelerator to drive behavior with customers? We'll keep the poll open for a minute or two. And while it's going, I'll turn things back over to my partner, Rod, here, and he'll kick off Q&A for us. Fantastic. Um, great job, Tracy, and uh, we appreciate you all being here. Again, um, as you're going through this little survey, uh, this information we're gonna share with the whole group, it'll be part of this video. There's no personal information. We're not using it for marketing follow-up or anything else. Um, we're just interested to see collectively um, what the audience, uh, the features that the audience likes most about the Brand Accelerator. And if you think there's a use for all four of those, you can click on those. Um, so please do fill out that poll um, and we will get to a few questions here. I need to open them up so I can see them along the way. Okay, um, so Tracy, uh, the first question is for you. Um, what is the typical setup time for the brand accelerator? Mm. So we could do this concurrently um, with our standard implementation timelines. This all, of course, depends on the type of product that you're using with us and um, the inclusion of a physical card, perhaps, which has extra branding. Um, but in general, some of our implementation timelines are as few as two weeks maybe up to six, eight, or 10 weeks, depending on the level of integration you're doing. And Brand Accelerator can be completed within any of those timelines. Great. Okay, next question. It says you shared uh, a case study on gig workers and um, is prepaid the only payment option that you have in the Brand Accelerator? No, 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 no. So the paywall, Right when we walked through that experience together and, and you saw those payment options, um, a physical prepaid card or a virtual prepaid card in the example, um, we could also add in there a choice of a reloadable card, right? So gig payments, of course, we're gonna get paid all the time. We need to have reloadable, um, but there might also be a demand for instant pay, right? So if we're trying to meet the same day pay value proposition, then a push payment might be another option that you want to see in there. Our push product is essentially the ability to enter a business or a personal debit card and have those funds pushed directly into the individual's bank account via the debit card. 
Okay. Um, the next question says, uh, I like the concept. Uh, what happens to the data? Who owns the consumer data? Yeah, so the data is is yours, right? So it's not DaVinci's data to share or to market off of. Um, the data is coming from cu customers who've opted into your payment program, your incentive program. Um, and so that data belongs to you as the brand. Okay, and uh, let's see, we'll do one other question here. Um, you shared in there that you have an enrollment program for product registration and loyalty. Can you explain a little bit more about how that works? Yeah, so what we're doing is facilitating the the traffic um, into your existing loyalty or um, registration programs, right? So we'd be driving that traffic via the link onto your site. And then in the reporting, you'd see that traffic captured, you'd see the referring URL and be able to marry up any of the registrations into your program um, as a registration that came from DaVinci's Brand Accelerator. All right, and um, why don't we take a break from the questions. Mitch, can you put the results back from the poll? Okay, so we ask, uh, what features of the Brand Accelerator would you use most? 63% of you said you would use embedded video. 50% said a survey, uh, loyalty enrollment, 88%, and product registration, 38%. Um, what's really interesting about this, I'll make a couple of comments, and Tracy, I'd like to hear from you. Um, we hear uh, time and time again um, the importance of loyalty programs and that um, people are really excited about the uh, loyalty enrollment. And what's interesting about that is when we started this, we didn't have that um, elevated as high and as we started running beta and running research we saw you know loyalty growth um, uh, and loyalty program growth um, growing exponentially and so it's it's interesting here that the numbers line up with what we've seen on the product registration side we hear a lot from um, clients as well that they really like that feature because it is so hard to get people to enroll in product registration and once they have that there's a whole um, line of communication they can manage themselves they can pull that data in or they can push it out through the brand accelerator um, you know surveys are always great short surveys and then of course video is always uh, very popular um, and I think you know just a comment on that the video can be your branded video it can literally be anything it doesn't have to be exclusive to the brand accelerator so it can be ads or product demos or even from social media Tracy any other thoughts on the feedback that we have here yeah, I think the um, the product registration is an interesting one. So often for um, for products and appliances, brands are just relying on the paper card um, included with the purchase, and the consumer's option is either to fill out the paper card and mail it in, um, or maybe travel to your website and complete their registration. Um, so the concept of using Brand Accelerator is let's let's just drive incrementally more traffic to your registration so you can capture those and, and continue the valuable interaction with the customer. Great. All right. Um, and then uh, if we can go to the next slide, Mitch, really quickly. Um, so we mentioned our uh, loyalty study um, webinar that's coming up. We've got a study that we'll release um, in two weeks, and then the webinar will be the following week. So we invite you to go to davincipayments.com backslash BA. Um, click on there and um, you will find the registration, um, you'll find the Brand Accelerator page and down at the bottom you can see the join us for our loyalty webinar. Um, click on that. What's great about the webinars is you're learning since you've participated in this. Um, sign up and even if you can't attend, you will get a video afterwards, you'll get the presentation and we welcome you to share it. Um, our video um, sessions with all of our webinars get a lot of views they get a lot of shares uh, which we appreciate and um, so it's a great tool for you to use you know if you're interested in any of this kind of information it's a good tool for you to uh, share uh, this format with other folks um, so with that um, i think we'll close out with the questions we want to thank everybody for being here today and um, tracy anything you want to add to the close no, that's it. We really appreciate your time. Okay. And we do invite you to come to davincipayments.com. Um, if you're not that familiar with us, we are a leading payment provider. 
Um, there's a lot of good information on our site. We also have all the studies that you saw today. If you go under insights, we've got um, proprietary studies there that we use primarily to develop our products, but also to, you, uh, to share in uh, venues like this. So we thank you all for attending. We hope you found this valuable. And if you have further questions, please reach out.